The oh, island hey. we went to was supposed to have been secured it's by the, the mass ground driver. Forces. They hadn't gotten a handle on things by the time we got there. So now we were stuck in the middle of a half-assed campaign. My job was to get the planes ready for combat, making repairs and handing them over to our troop of cons. Thing is, the enemy still had the hangars. The comms were still down, so none of us knew what the hell was going on. The last transmission I heard before everything went to shit was that some prisoners from an Ocean military penal unit rioted and managed to escape. <laughs> they stole some jets and now they were flying around, taking out their former allies left and right. That's I wonder surprising. if any units like ours were out here, creeping around. Hearing the Ocean jets firing at each other overhead chipped away Wait. at morale. Unless they're trying to pin Since that the shit on us. Was out, it was quiet. I liked it better that way. All I heard was the gunfire. Here we were, walking around carrying rifles. We were pilots, damn it. Friendly fire will probably kill us. You know things are desperate when the guards that used to lock us into solitary are now telling us it's better we all stick together. I guess they think our odds of surviving this war are better that way. After walking for miles across the battlefield, we came across the wreckage of a plane. Oh! Passenger, not military. Huh. I knew that road. It fell. It was an Arugian liaison plane. The guard's dogs smelled something and took off. They led us to a cliff. And the bodies. Today, I lost everything. When Osea attacked our capital, well, I shit. a man who was never really suited to being the king was killed. I was to be flown out of the war zone to safety, but the plane was shot down by rebels. The entire crew was killed in the crash. Soldiers mm. appeared and one shot at me. My dog went after him and shot him to pieces. He was my best friend. After oh, all the JPEG dog. About working together for peace. I thought everyone felt the same as I did. Apparently not. I'm sure the soldier who shot at me knew I was the princess of Arugia. He was Arugian too. More soldiers have come. Now, there is no one left to protect me. I am so numb, I cannot move. I watch as one of their dogs approaches. It sniffs mournfully at my dead friend. I wonder if it grieves for him as much as I do. I can barely think. I feel weaker by the minute. I don't know who these soldiers are with, but I managed to take a sip of the water they gave me. How long have you been here? Somehow, I muster the courage to answer the woman's question. I tell her I've been there three days. They gather around me with grim looks on their faces. What would they do if they knew I was the Erosion Princess? I'm pretty sure they do. After searching the cockpit of the plane, the woman who spoke to me before came back to me. This is an air-to-ground tactical radio. It still works. I noticed she walked with a limp. She knelt down next to me and asked her companions to give me some food. And then, very softly, she said, You see, I used to listen to your broadcasts, your royal highness. Just what did you see here? That's interesting. What now? Okay, enough talk. Your opinions have all been taken into consideration. Beyond the seizure of Forbanti, which is important, and supporting the Erujian officer. At this point, I just don't know what our strategy is, or what our mission is. Radio communication is still patchy for both the military and civilians. 
So we're getting zip from Mission Command about our orders. Okay, so what are we gonna do? Countless erosion forces in the area. It's too dangerous for us to stay around here waiting for a miracle. Now, regarding Count's suggestion to think about self-defense, uh, I think we should make a break for Tyler Island. It was a large Ocean base before the start of the war. Count says his previous squadron took part in an operation to seize control of the island. It has the only base that will get us to the space elevator without refueling. It's also <laughs> a transport facility for supply ships that provide drones and ammo for arsenal birds. Hmm. For the Ocean forces that are looking to reclaim the space elevator, those are two great reasons in its favor. If everything went according fair, to plan, fair. the base may already be in allied hands when we get there. Though based on what Count told me about the island operation, it won't be easy to seize control. If the ground troops have managed to open the bridgehead, the transport route to Osea for supply ships should be available. With so much at stake, I can't imagine Arusia just giving it up without a fight. Things could really have gone bad. Even if there are enemies left, they should be pretty easy to suppress. I just want to go home, man. Me too. With that look on your face, Trigger, I know exactly what you want to do. If Trigger's ready to kick ass, then so am I. Damn straight. We're with you, Trigger. <laughs> it's decided then. Let's get all the aircraft and haul ass to Tyler Island. <laughs> Not Although paying attention. The that's, uh, that's a look on the network, face. There's still remnants from the erosion forces. I want to get to the island without getting into any unnecessary combat. Pick a fast craft and fix it how you want. Pack for a long trip, but remember, if you drag your ass, you'll get left behind. Just try to keep up. Sortie ASAP. Ought to be a good time. Hmm. I'll get there. What's going on? What did you say? Multiple boats is inbound. Damn it. Prepare for anti air combat. This is the AWACS Longcaster. The aircraft in the area belong to the LRSSG. Now, my aircraft. A retreating vehicle is taking fire. Requesting assistance. Roger. ID complete. Hi, Wagtail. Allies, targets, hey. Strata one, target acquired. Our artillery fire just missed us off our starboard side. Oh, I think I missed that. Oh no, there's a tank. whole lot of enemies to deal with anymore, which makes, makes sense. Okay, that's a fair bit. Let's go. Okay. 
Tried to shoot a missile at me. That's rude. Okay, that's. Uh -oh. 
I am trying to attack my target here, you asshole. I was given a target, I'm gonna take it. Goodbye. More? Oh, no, it, it, it said there were more. Fuck off with your missiles. Strider 2, where the fuck are you? Bastards that are keeping up with me. Probably bombers. It's fine. MQ-99! That's a drone! Just than anything else. Good. Good connect. All right, you SU thirty five, you jackass. You get to die now. You're getting on my frickin' nerves. This is a cute military line. Who is this? obnoxious.
Okay, Scrap Queen. Send us the target coordinates. site can go to hell. for freaking sending shit to space? Freaking out, you piece of shit. Like her, life down there may have been a tad bit easier. 
That was, uh, that could have been, that could have been rough. Good. Take a seat. Everyone's here. All right. Good work in sinking the supply ships. Not to mention saving the refugees. Hell yeah. However, we're in no position to start celebrating. Even the commander here is starting to fray from the stress. Starting? I blame him. <laughs> now, Tyler Island is in a state of complete anarchy. This base isn't safe either. The faces you see around you are the only friends we've got. Take a good look. Woo! Ghostbuster. All right, all right. We found a boat, then sailed away from the island. We had to. We didn't belong there. The new guy's name was George. I noticed when the anarchist said his name, he said it with a thick Belkan accent. Hmm. How did you know that he was from Belka? Well, both my parents were from Belka, so... You never told me that. They say that Belkans are known for their conspiracies. That's just a stereotype. Now, I simply stated my honest opinion and was thrown in jail for it. Hmm. The princess sat there looking miserable. That was a dumbass stunt she pulled back there, but it got us on this boat. Take a look at that. This ship is heading for a single rope that's hanging down from the sky. Do you know how far the end of that rope reaches? Space. Space. Outer space. No. It is a direct connection to the very potential of mankind itself. Or at least it was until war erupted. I see an aircraft carrier. It's my strong belief that the rope might be connected to a very distant, faraway source of of great conflict and strife. Even long before the war, the whole world started falling apart once Harling began trying to build it. I often wonder hmm. what was going through Harling's mind when when he was trying to destroy the very thing that so many people were sacrificed in order to create. Hmm. Sacrificed? What do you mean? Have you seen all of those countless old space shuttles on Tyler Island that are no longer in use? Yeah. Hm. I always thought of them as a good source of scrap. They're an obsolete technology that was abandoned during the construction of the space elevator. Which would mean that if the space elevator was destroyed, it would be that much harder for mankind to reach the stars until we find another way. But even then, Harling still went ahead and tried to destroy it at the cost of his own life. That's not the way I heard it. Hmm. What I heard was that he sacrificed himself to protect the tower from an incoming missile. Oh, I was told he tried to fly his ship into the tower in order to destroy it. Hmm. I wonder which story is true, your royal highness. Interesting. 
looking at it objectively, it's reasonable to believe that Harling had both options before him. When it comes to which one you think he took, I guess it's like a mirror. Yes, it is. It's like a mirror looking into your own soul, based on whichever choice you believe it was. I mean, kind of, but At the moment, there's also this whole thing of, I you know, see empathy? I think, I think that thing should be destroyed. 